What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the situation. Let's talk about Kenya Moore dancing with the stars. She had a very tough weekend. She was rehearsing and filming all weekend, and she was a busy bee, baby. She was busy. And also, she was making sure she did self-care as well and take care of her body at the same time because them rehearsals ain't no joke because she's serious. Kenya Moore is in it to win. And also, she wants to be a winner and she also wants to prove it to her daughter, Brooklyn, that she's a winner. And we also know that Kenya Moore watched Dancing with the Stars with her grandmother, Miss Doris Grant and you know she always wanted to be on the show and now she's on the show and she's taking it very serious and so let's check out Kenya Moore and therapy working on her body to make sure she performs you know Monday effortless <laughs> Hey guys, so I am at a rehearsal, camera blocking, just getting a little therapy here. Uh, taking care of that. Yes, Kenya Moore was not playing around. She's actually doing some self-care. She's making sure she take care of her body so she can be on that stage and be magnificent as well. But in any event, Kenya Moore was nervous. She had like somewhat of a panic attack and she was just feeling, you know, the fear, the nervousness and not wanting to mess up and not wanting to fail at all because, you know, she's not no failure. Kenya Moore is where she's at today because she never gave up. She never stopped. She never ran. She never, you know, basically say she can't do it. She never said, I can't. She says, I can, baby. And she's from Detroit, but she's not just from Detroit. She's just not that little girl from Detroit. When she said that, I was like, girl, you spoke a thousand words but let's check out Kenya Moore call on her magnificent wonderful grandmother Miss Doris Grant messing up I need to feel confident I was like Doris Grant in heaven please just walk with me and she walked with me she showed up right V absolutely <laughs> you guys should have seen her she was sitting in this chair before we even started tell yeah, her I was sit sitting in this chair and I was slumped over and I felt like you know a panic attack coming and then I was just like Mom, I need you. Please be with me. And then all of a sudden, I just like jumped out out of the chair, went to find Brandon. Was happy and was so attitude. happy. Like I was just like, I got this. Yes. And then she went out and nailed it. And I nailed it. Look, like we I, did our I didn't part. miss a step. So we did our part. Thank you, Grandma. Yes, thank you, thank Jehovah. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. You're gonna continue messing. Up. This is why it's very important to vote for Kenya Moore. Make sure you vote for Kenya Moore because Kenya Moore is doing a damn thing. She's handling her business. She's putting her all into Dancing with the Stars. And she needs the support of people. She needs the support of everyone to support her in this adventure that, you know, that she's going through as well. And plus, sometimes, you know, the system ain't always fair to us. We don't know what's the underlying, you know, thing theme behind the show you know what's the judges goal who do they really want you know what's behind the scenes what is actually really going on but in any event just make sure you vote for Kenya Moore for real for real because I'm looking at these votes when you go on to the website I'm like Lord have mercy let's get these votes in let's get it on and popping in the situation but Kenya Moore actually she handled business and she took care of business and she did a magnificent job on top of that her outfit was beautiful you know some of these outfits of these you know dancing outfits that some of these stars have on Dancing with the Stars I'm like where did you get that from where did you pick that up from who put that on you like Lord have and mercy and who did your hair and why you got on that wig why does it look like george washington wig like what's going on so i don't know if they judge by any of the attire that the stars are dancing have on but in any event you can just tell this dress is absolutely magnificent i mean beautiful the way it fits the color the i mean it just looks so elegant it's good for the tango and it was like amazing that actually kenya moore was dancing to womanizer by britney spears even though the show is dedicated to britney spears but womanizer and while kenya moore is going through a divorce you know with her husband um 
Mark Daly, she's dancing to the song Womanizer. So I know that gave her so much more strength and so much more power dancing to Womanizer because she was married to a womanizer. Didn't want her to speak, didn't want her to do this, wanted her to be quiet and hush up, let him do whatever he wanted to do when he wanted to do it and talk to her any type of way, yell at her and try to disrespect her and embarrass her and have control over her baby. So that song Womanizer was meant for Kenya Moore to dance to that motherfucker and they picked that out perfectly but in any event you know brandon you know he was so happy at the end of the dance because he was just so excited because he knew that they did a great job he was like thank you kenya oh my god he you know he gave her a kiss on the cheek he was like amazing because he just knew that they did a magnificent job and they did and he was thrilled he was happy and he's a dancer and he knew that kenya moore carried you know the situation she did her part and look at kenya moore's hair the beautiful ponytail for you know part in the middle long ponytail going down small diamond earrings nice diamond necklace nice diamond you know bracelet just for the tango elegant tango you know they actually have the look of the tango when you go out and tango like back in the day i don't know where to go tango at today but in any event you know it was absolutely amazing and i just didn't understand why the judges didn't give kenya moore a better score but brandon was happy and you know he's so supportive of kenya more and you can actually tell that she feels comfortable with him i guess they just want their crotches to be up into each other's faces but in any event you know the way that kenya Moore, her footwork it didn't get entangled it didn't get confused it didn't get messed up at all while she was just gliding across the dance floor her and her partner, their dance that was cohesive. I was just like, you know, they did such a magnificent job. Like, they were entertainment. Look how long that ponytail is, how it swings, how the dress swings, how you see Kenya Moore, you know, thighs move in them heels and doing the twist and the turn and up, down, back and forth. I was just like, Lord, they did a, such an amazing job that I didn't understand the score. One thing that um, Judge Lynn was basically saying, or whatever his name is, was saying that her arms were like bananas or her arms were loose. And then you have Anne, Carrie Ann, basically saying that they wanted them close together. But at the end of the day, Carrie Ann and Bruno saved Kenya Moore because they was in the bottom, you know, two. And I don't understand why they was in the bottom two because they had higher scores than other people. So I didn't understand it. And other people did, you know, a terrible job. So, but in any event, Kenya Moore was very happy with the 7-7. Seven, seven. I think she should have got 8-8-8 eight, eight, eight or 8-8. Eight, eight, seven but in any event you know um i don't know why she was in the bottom two it didn't make any sense you had this group with jojo the you know carrie ann said basically they missed a step and they was questioning each other whether they missed a step and things of that nature and so if you miss a step like that's worse than someone saying that you know you was a little bit wobbly or your arm your arms wasn't close to brandon enough or your crotch wasn't close close to Brandon enough it didn't make any sense and then this couple they was talking about that their footwork was terrible they need to be one with the floor you know what I mean and I just don't understand how Kenya Moore is in the bottom you know too when other people did such a horrific job but in any event it is what it is. This is why you got to vote for Kenya Moore to make sure she get a fair shot. And it just looks like Kenya Moore is nervous too as well because she doesn't know if she's going to get a fair shot. And when Kenya Moore said, I'm, you, I'm more than just that girl from Detroit. I came from nothing. You know, I just want to win. Like, I, I started from the bottom, now I'm here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. I was like, go ahead, Kenya Moore. That means so much to where she came from, how she grew up. And look at her today on Dancing with the Stars, a multi-million dollar company, a big, huge ass mansion. She has her daughter. You know, she's doing all different other projects. And so she just want people to know that she's more than just that girl from Detroit. You know, she is somebody just like we're more than who we are from where we from and where we came up from. And so that was very powerful, even though a lot of people probably didn't get when Kenya Moore said, I'm not just that girl from Detroit, you know? It's so much more. And we're not just from our neighborhoods or our childhoods. We are so much more than that. So that was very powerful. But at the end of the day, Kenya Moore was saved. So thank God that she was saved. Lord have mercy. She was saved by Brandon. Um, Brandon did his thing. So I was just so happy with that situation. But also with Carrie Ann 
and Bruno, I think that's his name, saved Kinemore at the end. And then the other judge, um, Lynn, Lee, or whatever his name is, you know, he was like, he was going to pick the other couple. So now we have to be very careful because I don't know how this situation is going to pan out because that other judge, he was upset, baby. He wanted the other couple. He said, I would have picked the other couple. This is just, I was like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> like, so, you know, voting is very important. So we got to vote for Miss Kenya Moore, y'all. Y'all got to vote. Y'all got to get up in the situation because... Because that judge, he seemed like he was upset. Yes, this judge right here, he seemed like he was upset. He was like, I would have voted for the other couple. He even stood up and he screamed. And I was like, you know what? Let me not with you. Peace.